Before we can really start going in detail on this course, it is important to know how the Adobe Illustrator user interface works. So in this video, we are going to explore each aspect of the Illustrator user interface. So on top, this is the menu bar. So when I say something like the file menu or the object menu, you can go up here to click it. Each time you go to one of these menus, you will see a list of items. If you see a little arrow on the right side, it means that additional options will pop up when you move the cursor over it. For example, if I go to the effect menu, I can see that the 3D item has more options because of the arrow next to it. So if I go over it and go to extrude and bevel, I can add a cool 3D effect to my plain square. So. The menu bar is really important because it unlocks so much more functionality. I recommend taking the time to look over the items in the menu bar to familiarize yourself with them. Just next to the menu bar, you will see the title bar. And from there, you can access things like the Adobe Bridge and Adobe Stock. Also, if you're working on multiple documents, you can arrange them here. Lastly, we have GPU performance. This helps create smoother animations when doing things like zooming in and zooming out. Now, don't worry if your computer doesn't support it. It's not a must have. Under the menu bar, we have the control panel. It gives you much more control depending on the tool you are using right here. For example, if I choose the type tool, you will see that the control panel gives me options to change the font size, align text and so on. Now what you see in the control panel depends on how big your screen is. As you can see, when I decrease the window size, the transformation tools are condensed into a single menu. You can adjust the look of the control panel by clicking on the little icon all the way to the right. From there you can disable anything you know you don't need. This allows you to have more space, get work done quickly and save time. Under the control panel is a tab system. If you have multiple documents or projects opened, you can easily switch between them. For example, if I go to the file menu and create a new document, Illustrator will create another tab for that document. On the left side is the tools panel. You have different types of tools you can work with. They are organized into several categories. Selection tools, drawing and typing tools, modification tools, information and color tools, and the bottom has a mixture of several tools such as symbol sprayer and column graph tool. Finally, the last category has navigation tools and the slice tool for web design. But in this course, we are first going to focus on the tools on top such as the selection tool, magic wand tool, pen tool, and so on. We will explore other tools later on. Underneath all that, you have tools that give you quick control with the color. Lastly, at the very bottom of the tools panel, you can change your drawing and screen modes. At the very bottom of the application, you will see information about what you are working on, such as your zoom level and the number of artboards. Because we only have one artboard opened, it shows just one. All the way to the right is the panel system. If you hover the cursor over them, you can see what they do. Now say, for example, you mess around with these panel icons too much, you can reset things back to the way they were. All you have to do is click on the workspace icon on top and hit reset. This depends on what workspace you are using. If I was in painting, I would choose reset painting. We will dive deeper into the panel system later on on this course. All right, now you should have a better idea of how the Illustrator user interface works. Throughout the remaining of this course, we are going to find out how each of these tools work. So now, on your own time, you can try exploring the user interface yourself to familiarize yourself with it. And of course, for more videos like this, please subscribe for more. And thanks for watching.